every uh, Friday, I sort of like to uh, promote my Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash video disc jockey. The correct spelling is in the title. A question and answer. Uh, if I had a chance, now we, you all know the Tour de France. It's that bicycle race that started in 1903. It's been going on for uh, well over a hundred years. You know the race I'm talking about, the Lance Armstrong, uh, the Greg LeMond video that I shared. And if I was given the opportunity to ride in the Tour de France, they say France, France, however you want to say it, the major bicycle race in France, it always ends in Paris. If I was given that chance, would I ride it? Probably so, but I was watching an interview of other cyclists that's rode in it. They say, you know, if, if, you, if you do Wikipedia on the Tour de France, you'll see the word grueling. Well, they said it's Beside that, it's a brutal bitch. And why is it a brutal bitch to ride in? Okay, like me, I've never rode with 200 cyclists at one time, and you're inches from their wheels at times. And in the interview, they were saying sometimes you're on real narrow roads there in France. And you gotta ride, you gotta ride a bicycle pedal a bicycle six hours a day for three weeks. And, you know, I could do that, but they said for the first few days, it's actually very nerve It's scary, and I'm quoting this, scary and nerve-wracking to ride in the Tour de France. They say it's equivalent to climbing Mount Everest twice. And when, when I say ride six hours a day for three weeks, that's a brick, neck, brick, I can't even say the word, it's a, that's at high speeds. But that, that would be nerve wracking. You know, the most I've ever rode with is two. One time I rode with two guys. I rode with one guy, but 98%, 99% of my riding in the last 31 years has been by myself. I've never rode with 200 cyclists inches from each other's wheels. That would be nerve-wracking as hell. I mean, it just, it, to me, it would be just a pure bitch, brutal bitch to, to, to do that. You're 40 miles an hour. You know, and you, I mean, it just... I'd say it probably would take me probably about four days to get used to that. I was checking, let's say I was given the opportunity, I was checking uh, plane flights, because the race happens in July, start, I think July 3rd, anyway, Cincinnati, Ohio, to Paris, France, eight hours, eight hours and 46 minutes flight, being on a plane, flying over there, so in eight hours and 46 minutes, I could, I would land in Paris, and I would be in that race for three weeks. I'd say it'd be very nerve-wracking being inches away from each other's wheels and riding at fast speeds and doing that for six hours a day for three weeks. Whew, man, I would try it. Oh, yeah. But golly, Jesus Christ, it'd be, that'd be hard to get used to. <laughs> I mean, oh, my God, it just... I could do it. Just be nerve wracking as hell for about four days. I estimate about four days. And they actually said it's scary. It's actually very scary to ride over in it. Well, it is dangerous. You know, and it, 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 it's, it's organized like a military. Very, very organized. Of course, you know, it's had its problems of dope. That just tells you, that show, tells you right there how difficult, how much of a brutal bitch it is. You know, all the doping going on. Well, you, you climb Mount Everest twice on a bicycle. 
You'd be tempted to dope. Sure. I wouldn't because I'd be afraid I'd get sick or something. But, you know, there, you know there, it's money at stake. But forget all about the doping. But if I was given the opportunity, would, it, would I try it? Yeah, it'd make you, you even hear the nervousness in my voice. It, it'd make you nervous. for Well, even the, the, the interview of the, of the professional, of the cyclist that's been in it. Tyler Hamilton and uh, uh, Floyd Landis. They say it's nerve-wracking as hell. You know, and you got to ride at fast speeds on top of that. But, you know, after about four days, you probably, I'm thinking after about four days, you probably, I'd probably get used to it. But it wouldn't be easy. It'd be probably the, from, and I've been watching a lot of videos on it. Well, I've been watching videos for 13 years of, of the Tour de France. I tell you what, it'd be the hardest I think I'd ever work in life. You know, I've worked hard in life, but I'd probably beat it all. Three weeks of total hell. The, the, the good part is beautiful scenery. I love the helicopter shots uh, over the race, you know, in the mountains. It, 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 it'd make you nervous for a while. They said it that uh, Floyd Landis, I think, or, or Tyler Hamilton wrote it eight times. It's nerve-wracking.